one I saw. And I think they're partnered with. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how that's where we'll be on the that's bottom of the uh, The American leg. Nope. Open. No, nope, close, close. And then we switched okay. to their other. And they were like the same. Air, I think it was American. It was like the same. The plane might have even said American, but it, the ticket said both. Yeah. Um. What well, was the thing? Was I, definitely Tom. Yeah. I saw we were sitting there, and I look at the departures, and I looked at my wife, and I said, "Okay, I found the worst flight here." She goes, "What?" And I go, "Spirit to Porta Prince." Oh. I said, oh, "So no. what's? Gonna, I said, so what's going to kill you first, the oh, plane no. or when you land in Port au Prince?" I remember one time when I was a kid and I was flying to uh, Peru, and we used to have to back in the day we used to have to do a two like a two day stay in Miami, like that yeah. was the law. Like you had to stay in the on your port of embarkment for two days before you could fly out. So we'd okay. fly to Miami and then we'd have two days there and go to the beach and shit, and then we'd fly to Peru. And like that night, my, the flight might have been delayed or some shit, so we were just waiting in the, oh, one in the lobby or whatever the gate forever, and this flight came from Port-au-Prince and I was I remember as a kid thinking like I never want to go there yeah. <laughs> just from the uh, look of the people that came off that flight I was like I was just like looking at it with wide eyes like oh no like, here is Port-au-Prince it sounds wheel, nice I was like Port-au-Prince it sounds nice and then it opens sir. up I'm like oh hey, you ready? hey <laughs> yo okay. it was like watching the serpent in the rainbow or something <laughs> I'm not sure what the tin was doing, but he's in front of me somehow. Yeah, he he stalled it on, or he he, he never left the line. I had to go around him. Oh, these guys are whipping their trucks. I don't even know how to do that. You gotta do the finish flick. Go to the right briefly, and then flick it to the left. Outside. Or just hit the brakes. Clear, clear outside. Brake and then gas. Oh my god, there's 25 laps of it. Dang it. Uh, yep. I see you. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Three wide. Oh, boy. You're about to not see me, because I don't know if I can handle this anymore. Whoa. Dude. 20 laps to go next time. Bye. Bad at this. I mean, I know I'm pretty bad at it. Is anybody really good at it, though, or are people just, like, less bad than others? Lap cars in front of you. Get good at this. I feel like I can control my truck, at least, and not hit people, even while going pretty wide. This obviously isn't that hard. Okay. I was gonna say, says Kyle, who's <laughs> struck. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have any force feedback. That's true. If you can't feel yeah. what the truck to do, this has got to be incredibly hard. Yeah, because honestly, with the, the dirt racing, you need to feel where it is. Like, when you're going around the corner, there's almost no uh, resistance a lot of the time. Like, you just kind of let it float. Outside. You can't really do that in a road Clear. wheel. Uh, I think you're... It's gonna oh, think no. you're on a on a road course. It's gonna feel like you're turning right, actually. Uh, I feel like I feel like fucking Daryl Waltrip. No, dude. I guarantee you, when you get the new wheel and you try dirt racing again, it's gonna be a completely different experience. Oh yeah. That wheel, it, when you're turned right like that, when you're counter steering to the right, the wheel thinks you're turning right. So it feels like you're turning right. Oop, I just trolled the guy. Did you? And I got rear ended. Did you run our Venom race? On the dirt with, without force feedback? I didn't run the Eldora race this oh, year. Okay. 
I am gonna. Well, I'm gonna run the Bristol one, but I'll have that wheel. Right. I think Bristol's a better track for it, anyways. Bristol's more forgiving for those that aren't truly dirt drivers. In my opinion, anyways. Yeah, I think so. One time when you get to him, I'm working on him. I almost, I almost flipped the thing. Somebody's flipping. Oh, yeah. That dude just dumped them. So you're yeah. never in the corner going below like 54. Like you don't want to be so sideways that you're down in the 50s or the upper 40s. But Let's bust this traffic, girl. Oh, Go back there. The beauty that looks, looks down in my speedometer, it says 54. Got him slow on the top side. Car's moving. Hey, I'll How about that? Can I burn out now, this huh? thing? We'll meet you in Victory Lane, how's that? Is there a Victory Lane in this joint? Yeah, it's right here. Oh. Uh. Right, I'm gonna do a normal race and on concrete and make myself feel better. Mm -hmm. We're 
coming through by the truck. Coming your way, fellas. Number four, Earl, thanks. Good job tonight. I still got a lap to go. What happened? Zittle, you're going to make my YouTube front thumbnail. Yay, when I dump you? Yes. 